in the vagina, we have the vagina itself. We have these folds that are called rugae so that the vagina has an incredible capacity to expand and contract to accommodate things coming in. If you're talking about say insert of sex or menstrual products or toys, but also things to come out with when we think about childbirth, obviously there's a greater stretch that happens during childbirth. However, an appropriate environment with an appropriate education with a pelvic floor that is able to yield and surrender to that, we can often do it without tearing and without a lot of residual um, issues, so to speak. The, the challenge lies in many people are not given education prior to pregnancy, prior to birth, so even if they are pregnant, especially about birth, but also about postpartum recovery. And we in North America, it's glorified almost to be back at the gym, taking selfies for social media within a couple of weeks. And so after we've been showing off, taking a selfie every month to show how big our belly is and compare it to fruits and vegetables and, and what have you, once we are now a mom, the babe is outside the body, we all of a sudden have this belly that's a place of shame and we have to hide it and we have to not look pregnant as fast as possible. So there's a disconnect there and that we're not honoring that postpartum recovery. In many cultures around the world, there's a huge emphasis placed on the first 40 days, especially. And it's my belief in terms of when we can intervene with pelvic floor initiated movement, restorative exercise in those first few weeks, coupled with things like proper nourishment, lots of rest, hydration. What I have seen in my own clients is much better outcomes much better. I don't mean to say quicker recovery in the sense of I want them to get back so fast, but just they aren't dealing with lagging or kind of lingering issues for longer periods of time. And I'm also incorporating a visit to a pelvic floor physical therapist around six to eight weeks postpartum, which I think should be standard of care for every single woman, every single woman in general, but definitely people who are pregnant and giving birth in terms of it, does it ever go back? When you've become pregnant, when you've given birth, the landscape will be altered to some extent, but that doesn't mean that you have to expect you're going to be incontinent, that you will have organs shift out of position, that you will no longer ex uh, experience pleasure during sex. That's absolutely not true. And in many cases, some people, because they've now learned this, sometimes for the first time, they often return to daily life and sport and physical activity stronger than they were before because they know how to harness the power of their pelvic floor.